Hey guys, it's Nixoff here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Office in Blender 3.1. So, uh, I made this tutorial a couple times, a couple uh, days ago, uh, well, months ago, and I also made it two years ago, I believe. Um, but I kind of forgot one major thing, so uh, in this tutorial I'm going to change that. So, first, uh, let me undo all of this. I have everything here, uh, all I'm doing, so feel free to just take a look, because I'm not going to be repeating everything. So then A, well I am sometimes, whatever, A and then delete, then we can go shift A, mesh, and then scroll here, plane, and we can just do S, and then shift Z, and then 10, actually no, I think that's a little too big, so backspace, and then 5, to be 2, whatever, man, just scale it up on shift Z so it doesn't scale up on the Z axis, uh, this looks relatively fine for an office, so, yeah, and then tab to go into edit mode, 2 to select line, uh, edit select, no, where does, I don't remember, I, yeah, edit select, and then select all these while shift clicking, uh, okay, I'm going too fast, E, and then Z, and then drag it up, and, uh, I say this is about good, alright, and then uh, we can just go control R, click, uh, scroll up to here, and then control R here, and control R here, and just make a couple of loop cuts. So now, hit free, select where you want your doors to be. So in my case, I want there to be two doors here and a vent here. And then you can just hit I to insert it just a little. Actually, what I do is uh, shift click on this. Hit I so it does it on these two, and then right click, extrude along face norm faces normal, uh, extrude along face normals, and then drag it back. Make a hallway if you like. I don't know. Just I'm gonna make a little solidifier, fire not solidifier modifier, but just make it a little solid. So yep, and if I can get it right, which is just a little annoying. There we go, and then X faces now if there are lines here for example if there were lines like just these ones you'd have to go into two click and then delete and then edges but there aren't and there isn't anything wrong here so that's fine now we have our doors and then we can just go right here and then I want to make a vent so I'm gonna okay I'm gonna insert it quite a lot but yeah I'm also gonna scale it down Oh, by doing that S Z and then lock it on Z axis, and then actually what I'm gonna do is you can press Shift Space G, and uh, you'll immediately go to the move one. However, I like doing a little shortcut. Go over to here where there's gizmos, and then object gizmo check move. This saves so much time. Then we can scale this down to however you'd like your vent to be and just hit E to extrude it back uh... I'm actually gonna make a little vent tunnel there we go and now you have your office just make this as big as you like, it's really up to you now we have the basic shape for our office now what we want to do is just build the scenario really, build desks, build whatever you want uh, I'm gonna make a desk, so I'm gonna select this one. I'm going to face look. Shift D, right click, and then S Y, and then select it like this. Also scale it down on the X a little. I'm gonna be making the table. Um, just slide this on here. E L Shift D, right click, drag it to here. It says it's good. Shift D, right click, and um, first we want to scale it on the y-axis. Um, there we go. This is good enough, I guess. And then scale on the x-axis. Make sure it has a little bit of offset. And then E to... Oop, wrong. Wrong one. Um, e to extrude it up. And now we have a table. It's coming out well. I'm just going to move this a little bit to the right because I don't like how it looks. Um, so I'm going to scale these two. Move the z axis a little. Actually, no. Scale them up if anything. Actually, the table's too low. Alright. Okay, this is good enough for a placeholder office. 
Uh, let's say you want to add monitors on the side. Select this one, Shift D, right click, scale it down, hit E to extrude it up. Um, L, actually, no, I, and then scale it. Scale on Z axis so it's up. And then let's say you want the monitor. Shift D, right click, scale it down. Uh, oh crap, I already said W. Um, here. Scale on the Y a little, scale on the Z a little as well. Um, also, you're gonna have to add a little bit of... Actually, instead of doing this, um, what you can do is you can just inset this one. Scale the inset, as we've done previously with the vent. Just put it here. And you'll see me. For now, there's no screen. But later when we assign materials, it, it, there's going to be a screen here, trust me, alright? Now you can just select this one, duplicate it, uh, rotate it, oh, what the hell? I mean, rotate it with R, okay, I excuse me, my bad, um, R to rotate, and then let's say you want to rotate it along the Y axis, no, the Z axis, Z axis, so it's just like this, um, there we go. Alright, now we have the basic shape of our office. Next, you, we want to add the roof. So hit 2, and then select these with shift click. Select these with shift click. And then hit F3. And then type bridge, edge loops. And now we've created a ceiling. Now, what we want to do is we want to go over to render properties. Change the rendering engine from EP to Cycles. Set the color to black and set the strength to zero over in World Settings. And here we go. Now, if I go in here, you won't notice anything because there's nothing yet. But if I were to add a light, shift a, uh, where is it? Light point. Set a point light here. And then go into Cycles. There's going to be all this fuss all this noise because it's rendering but trust me this is gonna be really useful for when your office is done it's gonna look really realistic and really nice so turning back into here now what we're gonna wanna make is a material for this so I'm gonna guide you through on how to make materials for this uh, I use paint.net not so I, I'm gonna. I always just paint on that for making materials and crap. So uh, you don't have to worry about buying Photoshop or anything. It's yeah. I'll leave the plugins at uh, not all the plugins, but I'll leave the normal map plugin in the description. Now, if you want a better texture overview, or whatever, than the ones I'm gonna show you, you can simply just go on the the website that I'll link down below. It is filled with good textures, and if you check out my old tutorial. There is a complete guide on how to set them up. So I'm also I'm gonna use a texture that I have taken a photo of. Basically, I just I was in school and I took a photo, and that's how I got it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert it to I'm gonna boot it up in Paint on it, and I'll see you there. All right. So here we are uh, on Paint on it. I have this grass image. I don't <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna make the floor grass, but grass. I took this out while I was in school. So um yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to link the texture down below. I may be able to, or maybe not. So, yeah. This is the texture I'm going to be using. So, we have the grass here. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy it. Then just go in a new one. Hit OK. Hit Control V. And then, if you downloaded the normal map plugin that I linked down below, you can go in Effects, Stylize, and hit Normal Map Plus. And now you'll create a normal map. Um, this changes how much you want the light to reflect on it. I usually set the z-axis to around like 360 is a good year. Uh, sometimes I'll set everything to max because I feel like the lighting isn't working that well. But for Unity, I'd recommend setting things to max. Not everything, but pretty close to it. But this isn't for Unity, so I'll set the z to 360. 0 0.360. Okay. 60 and I'll set the Y to 632 and I'll set the X to 700 no 711 and now we have our beautiful normal map 
So what you want to do is you want to hit Control S to save it. Now that we are back in Blender, what you want to do is you want to hit New, and first I'd say start assigning the uh, placeholder materials. So create a new one as well. So this one's going to be the floor. So just select the floor. Also go right here to drop down, click, and then switch to texture. And now we're going to set the floor to green, so it's a placeholder. And now. Oh, alright, let's just go with the shape view, whatever. Uh, green, now we know that this is going to be the grass one. So then you can select, this is going to be the mass material, so this is going to be the wall. Uh, we can make two new materials. I'm going to call this, uh, monitor iron or whatever. And then create a new one and call it monitor screen. I usually never freaking name these, but just for the sake of a tutorial. So then you want to go over here, select this, unselect the space, and monitor iron assign, and then just make this gray. Select this with L, that's what I use, and then unclip, uh, shift click this one to select it, and then assign monitor screen, no wait, my bad, assign monitor iron, select these two faces, assign monitor screen, and just set monitor screen black. This is what I was talking about. Now, um, for the vent, I'm also going to reuse the monitor texture, since why not? There we go. Now we have this. And this is going to be the wall, so I'm going to set this to blue, for example. I'll also forgot about the table. Shoot. So create new material and then call it table. And <clears throat> then select, select, select with L, assign. I don't know if I spelled it correctly. I'm tired. All right, there we go. And now we have our placeholder materials in place. So we want to go over here to the grass material, go over to shading, and drag in the images. So I'm going to do that real quick. So uh, I have grass, and I have grass normal, which is just a normal map. So I'm going to drag grass into the base color, and now immediately you'll tell we have the grass. Now this doesn't look like grass, light does not reflect this way. So in normal map, we're just going to, uh, I have to add a... RGB, they're not uh, RGB curves, curves, and then set this to G, and then drag this in, and then drag this into normal, and voila! As I said, we have a normal map. This is uh, how it would reflect, as you can see through here. Look, notice there we go. Uh, I don't know if you can change the... I don't... Really, I haven't tested it without this, but just testing, I don't think it works. No, it does. Oh, well. Alright, there we go. Now, we have this set up. Um, so, you can also make roughness maps and everything else, but I honestly don't know how to make those myself, so I will just have this grass here. Now, what you can do now is just assign it to all the other things, the materials. So even if we go into shading view, uh, I deleted the light, so let me add a light, point light. It will look a lot better in cycles, trust me. So let me set this like 30. I want it to be relatively bright in here, so 60. There we go. And now position myself. We're not done yet, don't worry, but, ta-da, see, it looks pretty nice. Now I'm going to return back to this, otherwise I'll take an hour or something. Alright, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so, what we can do next is start making the wall texture and everything else. I'm going to use a brick texture that I have. I showed you how to make the normal map. Um, so uh, you can do that yourself. If you don't have paint on it, download it. It's free and it's insanely good. So uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So I am going to set up the materials real quick. Now, while assigning materials, uh, some, it may look like this. And 
I don't want it to look like this because it, it kind of looks like garbage. So what you want to do is you want to select the areas. Okay, you want to select the areas where it doesn't look so good. You can use C to just select it a lot faster, and then right click to stop using it. So then just go like this, and there we go. And now you want to go into actually no, you want to hit U and then Smart UV. Unwrap and then hit OK, and there we go. This fixes it for the most part. For still unsatisfied, you can still go to UV editing and hit A and then scale it up. If I just select, uh, I just select this mode to be able to see. There we go. And then put this back, and you can scale it up to fit your liking. There we go. Now this is a really interesting office I'm making. Bricks, grass, where the hell could this be? I don't know. So, um, now just con to continue set up, setting up the materials, I will be back. Alright, now uh, I have fully textured everything and you can start setting everything up. So I want a monitor here. I'm just gonna, oh god, I have a portion of editing on. Uh, here we go. I'll just put this in here. Scale it down a little. And then you can just position everything how you want it to look in your office. I'm just going to add this little monitor. And yeah, sure. I'll put the little clip through here. It's fine. Rotate a little. Rotate a little on the z axis. So it's like this. And then I'll add a trippy. And then add a UV sphere. Um, and then I'll actually create a new material for this. And then I'll make this one green. And under emission, actually no, I want to change the this to emission and make it green. Set the strength to like I don't know two maybe. Because I also have to keep in mind the rendering engine. So then this looks pretty nice, I guess. Um, fit this to the monitor you made, and then we still have a couple steps to go, and we're done. So, uh, you yeah, stick with me for a sec, and we're almost done. So, now I have this, and then I want to go into tab again, hit 2, select the edges, the edges of the room, make sure you select, okay, there we go, and then hit control B, and then drag them, oh god, hopefully Blender doesn't lag, drag them until you make a little smooth thing like that, it looks a lot nicer, um, and then you want to hit right click, shade smooth, um, alright then. And if for some reason something isn't working, for example, if I were to uh, say extrude this, it okay. For some reason, Blender is in a good mood. But if something wasn't working, what you could do is you would go into Normals and then Auto Smooth. But everything's working fine for me, so yeah. And now, lighting the scene. So Shift A and then Light. Uh, let's add a point light because those are always nice. So first, you want to have a main light one that's supposed to do establish the mood in your scene. So let's say uh, you want to have the light be bluish because so many FNAF fan games do that for some reason. Now you have this bluish light. Now make it like 70 to establish 100 maybe? Yeah. Alright, 200. To like light the scene well so it, it, it lights. You can also uncheck cast shadow, but I'd say that's not important. Um, max bounces, you can also adjust this, but I'd leave it at that. Um, radius, you can always adjust this gun, but I'd also leave it at 0.24. Maybe set this to 300. I want it to be relatively bright. There we go. Alright. Now, be sure to make it uh, as tall as possible. And now we want to start adding other lights. So we want to add a light coming from the monitor, perhaps. 
say this one, this monitor, you want to add this one, you know, all the white from here. So then I'd make this one blue, fully blue, so it's emitting a light from the monitor, and, oh god, normal maps. Um, and then I can just <coughs> make the monitor textures, uh, instead of black, blue. So they all blue screened. Rip. Um, yeah, this looks pretty nice. And now we see it is working. So then, and just also, there was another. Also, okay. Um, we want to go also in denoise and check this because it may not be checked. Make sure it's open image denoise, or and then yeah, because otherwise it'll, it won't look nice. You have a lot of other options, but I'm just going to leave it at this. I think I need to change it to this. I don't remember. Oh, wait, crap. No, CPU. My bad. Um, yeah. And then continue lighting the scene. You can always add a light for something that is really dark. But remember, there needs to be a reason to the light. You can't just have a light because you want to have 50 million lights in your scene. That's not a valid reason. I'm sorry. So, yeah. I'd say I can add, I'm gonna add a quick little like warning thingy here just so I can light a little more like this and then E to extrude it and then L to select it, change it over to here, and then create a new material and then just make this look red, sign it. There we go, and then I can change this to red and then drag this up to here. And then trip D and drag it to the other side. There you go. And then just duplicate this light. Um, there we go. And I'd say this is good. Yeah. This is going to be the final render for me. And then what you want to do to render, you can option number one spawn a camera by shift A and then camera just instead of positioning it, go uh, hide gizmos first, then go to where you want your supposed camera to be. So I'd say I want it to be here, and then it was like, all oh, numpad zero. I don't remember, man. Actually, screw it. Instead of using the camera, I'll just switch over to site to rendered view. And actually, just to make the scene look a lot, a little nicer, uh, I'm gonna re it with this one, actually. And then just drag this on so it's not possible to see it because otherwise you'd see the ending and that doesn't look really, really nice does it now now switch over to render view wait for the denoising uncheck gizmos unselect this and now now that you're ready be sure that this is all done and then hit file no uh, my bad hit render Render image. Crap, my bad. Uh, render uh, viewport render. Where? All right. So somehow my old tutorial is just smarter than me. So because I completely forgot. So view viewport render image and then a blender render and then you wait for it to render. And with that, th the tutorial is concluded. So yeah, please consider subscribing and um, I will see you. In another video. So thanks for sending out. Peace.